hello and welcome to first video vlog. I don't know what this channel is gonna be, but probably a vlog. So I am currently in a park I'm going to meet up with a friend. But, okay, so let's start from the beginning. I am currently in Romania, the capital, and I came here like probably a month ago. before this one and it's about like how I came here from JFK to the one that helped me get here, like from the airport to the house. So I'm gonna go meet him up and then after probably gonna go through Bucharest and explore a little bit more. That's gonna be fun. Oh and I'm going through this whole process with the penny board so <laughs> not gonna be great. See you guys after I meet with him and probably gonna be going to get a haircut today too because my hair is flying everywhere and the beard's getting way too long. <laughs> so I'm still going, it's probably been like 20 minutes. Maybe, maybe less, I don't know. But I like starting to hurt. <laughs> starts hurting. Yeah, well, I'm having that because I normally don't go anywhere, especially this much with the skateboard. In America, I was going with the electric, but here, I have this mini board, and there's so many holes in the ground. Like, I have a tiny little pack of that with me, but it's not working. keep on having to get up curves and keep stomping on the ground to stop because of people or cars getting in the way. Yeah, I feel like the closer you get to the center of the capital city, the worse the sidewalks get. Like I feel like being in the street would be safer than the sidewalk. The sidewalk, too many holes, too many rocks, too many people to hit, fall over. Street, all you have to worry about is the cars and probably should be worried about them too. But my foot's starting to hurt from too much pushing with the skateboard. After today I think I'm going to stop riding the skateboard for a little bit just to let it heal or whatever it does to get better. It stopped yesterday because it was hurting before too but it stopped so I started using this penny board again and now it's started again. I have like a mile, a mile and a half to go before I'm there at the workplace. He owns a printing press for t-shirts so like you know when you go to Walmart there in America, you go buy one of those printing papers that you put in a printer, print whatever you want, and then with an iron or something, you just put it on the t-shirt, iron it over, and there you go, you got yourself a custom t-shirt. Well, he does that for a living. Yeah, at first I thought that was the actual screen printing, it was all interested, but then when he told me what he does, I lost interest real quick. Like my mom did that for, for me and I have other people for free. He wants money off of it. Smart but also 
also pretty stupid, so hopefully he doesn't see this video ever. Because <laughs> then that would pretty badly mess up the relationship. But I have a plan for future videos, so this, this might be the first or second video. I'm going to try to edit it next week, but uh, next week I'll be going to two different countries, Moldova, which is right next to Romania, but after that... After that, I'll be going to Belgium to stay there and work till, I don't know, as long as I want, I guess, because I still have, still have the college and in America there to go to, but I want to explore Europe first, make videos here before going there. Who would choose to go back to America after seeing all this? Well, to phrase it right, I want to see all this before I go back. So I want to go experience like Paris. We got this is a little Paris here, but it's not what I want. I want to go to Paris, Spain, every country in Europe. Like uh, have one of those uh, vans converted, and then use that to travel for like a week or two weeks. gonna be after I first work and save up money for it. Because right now I have like no more money on me. After I bought the camera that was like let's see in US dollars it was about 400 something and that's about the same price as at Best Buy there. Maybe a little bit cheaper. But then I bought also a tripod for it. One of those that you can fold, not fold, bend to whatever way you want. And grab around stuff. And that cost me like almost $10 in the US. Because here it's like $80. Well, there it's $10. Well, no, $20 there. Because uh, one US dollar is, uh, is one Romanian, your Rom, whatever you call it here. So one US dollar is 4.07. Yeah, that's a lot more money. <laughs> so I changed like $500, but I got like 2,000 here. But the this camera for like 16 something, 16, 70 thousand, and then I bought the tripod for 70 something, 70 some dollars, so, or late. That was pretty much most of my money gone. <laughs> the cash I brought, they're gone really quick. I still have like 300 something, but probably gonna use that today. <laughs> Go get a haircut. good one because it's a five star and has like almost a thousand reviews well, hopefully and in the com in the reviews there it's always saying ask for Timmy and probably gonna do that too I need the best haircut for a good price oh, it's so hot out it's like 88 Fahrenheit Celsius probably like 20 I don't know more into Fahrenheit feet and inches. I don't really understand the Celsius and stuff. I'm pretty behind, but I'm gonna learn it if I stay here for a long time. Like a year, two years exploring. Probably should check the GPS before I go any further because I've been going straight for a long time. Okay, let's see. I am... Uh, I still need to go straight, kind of. 
it's a bit of a slight left. And I still have about a mile till there. Okay, so I'll get back to you guys as soon as I'm on the right side of the street. Okay, so I'm back. Yeah, I had to go to like adjacent street, I guess. I don't know what to call it, but it was on like the other side of the building after I crossed the street. And there's like construction, so I had to go around that. And you know how penny boards or any skateboard is with rocks or dirt or anything. So I almost fell and broke my new camera. That wasn't a good day or good time. And here we go to a very, very bumpy side. it up it's like you don't need this oh, so I'm almost there the next thing I have to do is cross one more big road and then turn left and then I'll be there so he's making he said he wants to have tea or not tea give me some good coffee I'm not big of a coffee drinker unless it's like full of milk and sugar I don't like the taste of coffee that much too bitter. Way too bitter. But after after the meetup, I'm probably gonna go show you guys the city, I guess. I'll go into the center and then I'll go to Little Paris where you know the archway that they have in Paris that's famous. Well we have one too here. And that's why we're called Romania is called Little Paris. So I'm going to go there and show you guys how it looks like. And hopefully in the future I'll show you the actual one and not a copy. A smaller copy. Because the one here is pretty small compared to the one in Paris. But still pretty cool. Probably not as popular. Because I went there like two weeks ago and it was like, not two weeks, like last week. And I was there in the middle of the rain. So I was drenched. Somehow my phone didn't get water into the charger. Somehow. <laughs> and after I show you guys that, I'll probably be going back to the house and try to edit this. Oh, there's so many cars in here. Way too many. But there's cars on the sidewalks because they have no more space to park. And now, the wait. Oh, the other side is about to go. Here we go. Probably gonna finish editing the other video tonight, but I have zero Wi Fi, so every time I need to download some music or something, I to go to our version of Walmart, the European, the Romanian version of Walmart, to get Wi-Fi or to the mall. And they're pretty far away, the house. Well, the mall's way further than the the Walmart place. But who knows? I'll see where I go. See if I, what music I need. Maybe I can use my phone to download because I have some internet. Have the roaming from there. Sprint. I got global roaming. So I have 2G worth of internet. But that I can barely watch a YouTube video without like every 10 seconds having to wait uh, 20 seconds to load. So usually I just put it, let it load a little bit, pause. Go do something, go eat, go somewhere, and then come back and the video should be really ready to watch, will be loaded. 
don't stop and have to repeat the process over again. <laughs> That's not fun. But I can also go to downstairs of the building outside where there's a place to go bet on like games or stuff. I don't know what it is, I've never been inside. But they have a Wi-Fi hotspot and I can just stay outside the building in this heat and use their internet, but I don't like it because it's too hot. And there's a lot of people there that are drinking non-stop, yelling and talking non-stop. Okay, I understand talking about yelling, come on. What? What are you yelling outside for? Go inside. And they also throw all the trash right in the grass, so it looks like shit. The camera's telling me it's overheating. Well, that's not my problem, Sony. You should fix that problem before you made the camera. But what can you do? It's a tiny ass camera. No cooling system on it, nothing. So I guess I gotta deal with it. And I don't wanna buy any bigger camera. Like the smallest I can easily put it somewhere. Like my backpack and not waste a whole bunch of them. Actually, I should check where I am. <laughs> Cause I've been talking and talking and talking. Without actually paying attention to the road. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think I passed. Yeah, I passed it way back. Time to go back. Let's see, is there a road connecting to us? Okay, if I go back. Okay, I'll get back to you guys when I am on the right road, because I right now, I don't know where I am, so I have to backtrack until I find the right road. See ya. Okay, so I'm back. I'm on the right road this time. Well, semi-right road. I have to go to the door next door, but there's an entrance here, another road connecting them, and it's right next to where I have to be. And there's a taxi coming. So I'm gonna sit here until it passes. <sighs> so hot out, like my mustache sweating. And there's two more cars. I'm gonna go on the sidewalk, not the road, I guess. And now there's no cars. How nice! As soon as I go to the sidewalk, back to bumpy roads. I don't know if you get the same amount of bumpiness I do, but it is annoying. It's like unfinished road and I almost fall. Okay. There's the road, so after this turn, I'm probably gonna have to end it here and pick up again where. Pick up after the coffee and stuff. And I'll, I'll meet you guys, I guess, in downtown or center of the city. There's a nice water, not part, like water fountain. probably go there and just start from there and go all the way up to the arch, the little Paris arch. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, so finish that whole hangout thing. Not really hangout, more like me helping him out. But in the end, I got food and actually pretty good coffee. I admit it, it was a good coffee. Milk, sugar, and coffee. Best combination ever. So now I am gonna go to barber shop. The name it's like House of Barber, and it's like five star. It's got four, almost 400 reviews on it, and most of them are five stars. So. I think it'll be a good place to get a haircut and all this cut off. And let's hope the camera doesn't die before I get there. It's at 43%. So right now, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I'm close to it. So apparently it's somewhere around here, the haircut place. 
so I'm going to keep them fucking close. Right. 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 here on the street. Maybe at the end. Maybe behind this corner. It is on that side, across the road. Coffee shop. this time on this side or is it that no I don't think it's that one that it's got beer on it or whatever of barbers. There we go. Now I gotta find the entrance. Is it on this side? Or where? Because the front looked pretty closed off. I don't think it's on that side either. got the haircut done. Yeah, the door was right there, just I couldn't notice it. Blent in with the walls. Not walls, but it looked like it was one of those doors you don't open that much. Or ever. So I got the haircut. It's okay. The barber, he speaks uh, English. He's from, Eng he's from Romania, but he learned English from England. So that was useful. So if I forget something to say in Romanian, I can just ask him in English. 
with. Uh, he said his dream was like going to America and doing his life there and getting a job there. Did pretty good. The beard too, make it shorter. But he gave me his Facebook and I will try to help them as much as I can <laughs> to get to America. So I'm currently going back to the house. I'll probably do a video tomorrow or another day about like the sites. Because yeah, there's definitely not enough time to do all that here right now. And I don't want to bore you guys with like a 20 minute video of just my face, so probably gonna be already too long. So I'm probably gonna end it here, or yeah, I'm gonna end it here, but probably get back when I get to the house. No, I think I'll just end it here. So I'll see you guys, I guess, tomorrow. <laughs> For you, it's probably gonna be in about a week, depending on how long it takes me to edit all this. It doesn't take me long then it'll be pretty fast like in about a week I'll post this video up so where's the light there ah, too much gel way too much but in about a week Okay, probably by Monday I'll upload this video with the other one. For the other one, there aren't much things I have to do except add music and see how it turns out. And then upload this after. So, thank you for watching or whatever. I don't think I'm going to do one of those endings. This is just too boring. See you guys next time.